yes 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 digital product family i hope you guys are well we're back with another one a coloring one a downloadable one this is the one guys check it out we're here with a fantastic video on coloring pages that i'm going to show you and create for you actually today uh, as usual without before i go ahead if you love digital products, you love creating, selling, researching, and all of that mad, mad stuff, then please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell. And don't forget to share, please, because we love to share on this channel. I can't sing, so forget that. Anyways, let's go. So I've got a bestseller here. Boom. A fantastic bestseller. Simple, easy coloring pages. These alphabet pages, these letter tracing ones, you know, people love this. Love them. So we got this, you know, A stands for acorn, astronaut, blah, blah, and all of that anchor. You know, people love these, man, for the kids. Uh, it's good practice as well, coloring in. You know, color, alphabet colorings are, are really, really cool, man. And so, look, you can tell it's in demand um, and it's a bestseller, right? So let's let's check, check it out. Let's look at the cash, how much it's earning. So the cash at the minute is $400. Guys, this is one listing, $400. Now, obviously, the seller's got many different listings. So just imagine if you got like, I don't know, four or five of these just list listings of different kind of types, ideas of, of letters and, and so forth, letter tracing. It's really good income, actually. And the demand will always be there, especially if the designs are nice, interesting. You know, they'll be quite nice fun. So $400, obviously, take into account because at the minute, it's on a 50% off sale and it ends on the 26th. So take that into account. So the, the income is not as much as that right now. Um, but let me just show you something very quickly because yeah? I want to show you exactly how to produce something like this letter A or, or any letter and have a nice little design on it. A bit similar to this. So I like, you know, you know me. I like to analyze a lot, right? So I'm on, um, I like to look at these these tags that this person is kind of using. So the tags is interesting because look, letter, there's a few bits that are interesting, right? Alphabet, um, you know, things like alphabet tracing. Look at that, alphabet tracing, alphabet worksheets, um, letter practice. These are all actually have a fantastically really good high score, man. And so these are really good to do because obviously there's a demand for it and they're not saturated. So I like to look at these keywords. Now, obviously, you'd probably have a bundle of stuff like, you know, like you'd, you'd have these uh, coloring alphabet letters, probably, I would say, on the front of each letter. And then I presume inside it, you'd have a bit of practice. I think this is a really good way to do it. I would have like... Um, a design element which is like you know some fun element for the kids where they can color in the letter with all the different um, images of things that start with an A in this case and then really you know you kind of you kind of do a two-in-one where you'd have something else which is actually the actual practicing of the letter I think that's a fantastic combination that sells really well um, because you're doing two things in one rather than just having just coloring only so it's something to think about something maybe to list to do um, if you guys are in the coloring niche and if not maybe it's something you can start let me just show you quickly how to um, do something similar to this but also everybody knows me with mid journey right I'm going to do a combo you know me I'm going to do a little combo I'm going to make it mad where I'm going to add a little mid journey flavor you know them ingredients mm, and I'm going to combine it with kittle so it's going to be a little kittle <coughs> combo check it out so let me go to kittle mm. i want to start a new project um so look it's it's kind of similar to other softwares that i've used on on here like canva and so on but i'll be honest with you they've got some like like pretty cool features man so i really like some of the features that they got um so you know i think it's really definitely um worth having a look at guys if you haven't seen it before um you can check the links in my description anyway. You'll see it all there. But anyways, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a page. Uh, all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to like a coloring page. Typically, actually, let me go to inches. Typically, typically it's about 8.5, right, by 11 inches, right? 
that's the typical size that most people sell on Etsy. I mean, that's that's pretty much the size. Uh, okay, so I'm going to say create. Right, and you can see I've got my page here. Right, look at this. This is going to be mad quick. So, right, let's go to the side. On the side, I can obviously do my text. Um, you know, like I said, if I, if I look at a, a, well, I don't need to look at a Etsy one. I'm going to go to the text, yeah? So I'm going to, I'm going to just go to like D for a start. Okay. I'm just going to type in D, um, as one of the letters that I'm going to choose. All right. D there's D now all the tools, all the bits are, are on the side where I can change the font style. I can transform, I can do sizing all sorts. Yeah. Loads, loads, loads I can do. So obviously I'm going to just increase the size. Oops. What am I doing? Yeah. Increase the size quickly right increase the size real quick right boom obviously i want to get a good size right check this out guys right so i'm going to leave that in the middle for now and then i want to obviously make it into a like a coloring d so i need to get rid of the black and then just make it an outline so what i do is go text color make it into a white click it go up there and then click the border make it into a black border and give it a bit of thickness right weight hit that weight guys there's the weight right there and actually what i like to do is yeah i like to do i'm gonna copy and paste this copy and paste this and do a little d i want a capital d and a little d it's literally copy and paste yeah where is it gone did i not paste it let me paste it boom there you go right let me just highlight this do a little d the little D's there. Boom. Okay, so big D and little D. So I like that D. Oh, I duplicated twice. Minor. Okay, so put it there and put my guy there. Boom. Look at it. Aligned. Lovely. So let me make this a little bit thicker though. Let me just make that border weight. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'll tell you why I like, I'll tell you why I like this, because this is where the magic happens, right? I mean, check this out. There's a few bits to this that I really want to, like, show you guys. So, I'm going to go to elements, right? I need to get some D stuff. So, what? D, uh, let me get some D stuff, guys, yeah? Let's see what we got. Check this out, right? There's loads of like, what's really nice is they got cool elements on the side. Like I said, this is not even just about coloring pages. This is really cool for like logo designs. Um, there's many kind of designs that we, you can actually create using. The, look at these deers. Loads of deers types. It's so versatile. I like, um, I like how easy it is actually to use. And for this, for coloring pages, it's amazing. Check this out because, like I said, I'm going to show you something about Mid Journey. Like, I'm just going to still combine Mid Journey. You know me. I love my MJ. Um, there's a deer. See, what I did was, if you did you notice what I just done? So, literally, that color, I slightly changed the color of the outline to black. See, look, you just go to it there and you change. So, what's nice is, even though you've got all these images, like, I'll show you a demo quickly, actually. Let me just use this one. See that? Even though i got something like this, you know what's nice about it you can actually transform it to whatever you want so i'm going to go to and make it white right but the border i'm going to make it black because obviously i want to outline and i'll make it a bit thicker look at this isn't that cool that's really cool right but i'm not going to use that one because i've already got this one so i need a few more d's um i like flowers so i'm going to say daisy yeah what's your birth month remember birth month is a big one as well on in terms of uh uh in terms of etsy right check this out yeah i like this daisy it's a cool daisy so what i do is see these colors i need to obviously make it into a black and white so it can get colored in so i make this into a white that blue uh, i'm gonna make this into also white inside and actually the weight is quite nice i'm gonna keep it like that that's cool that's my little daisy right um what else i'm gonna need a dog in there you know what i mean i need a dog Let's get a dog there. Let's get a cute dog or something. All right, let's go down. Let's see what we get. Ooh. Yeah, I like that one. That's 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 nice. <laughs> get a little dog in there. Look, 
bare colors though so let me get rid of all the colors because there's too many colors in there see that's what's nice you can actually like literally do you know change it up to what you need it so in terms of coloring book obviously i need to get rid of all of these colors boom 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 and it's quick as well so what was that one more color is that the tongue i think that's a tongue in it no no it's not even a tongue oh there's more what that's crazy yeah there's a tongue and then i got to do the nose i chose one with so many colors but look how quick it is though it's cool anyways that's the dog right listen i'm going to show you something crazy let me get some shapes elements or something let me just get some shapes right sometimes it's just a good to kind of just jazz it up a piece uh let's have a look what we got and get some shapes see look it just gives you so many different things you've got abstract stuff you've got um just general shapes there's just a lot going on here and well, these are quite nice as well okay see this works nice i like that man look they give you like stuff that you can actually use yeah let me go there it just breaks up the design nicely you know when you got stuff like this just it just makes it it just makes it really nice so so all about getting the layout right let me duplicate that i like that let me just duplicate okay there you go there you go And, uh, you can make it obviously you size it do what you like with it just it's really cool right you noticed guys i left a gap in that corner what do you think it's gonna be what do you think it's gonna be so i got a few d's a few d related uh cool nice stuff now i kind of put it all in the middle slightly because i want to do something with that with that one now check this out check it out guys i'm gonna go to what's nice is also like obviously you can you can upload stuff yeah so obviously i was on mj and as you guys know what's really popular as well baby dragons people love coloring baby dragons and it's a popular search as well so i created this already um using mj there's there's uh you can check out my prompt right easy you can use it if you want remember though use nee g5 yeah when you go to settings in mj make sure it's nee g5 that way it keeps it like without too much shading and everything if you don't do that it's gonna it's not gonna be as a kind of coloring book style anyway so what i did was obviously i saved it put it in my uh, downloaded it right um and then uploaded it which is amazing like what's what's cool is i just uploaded it on kittle straight yeah and now obviously here you go i want to put it here look at this i put my baby drag because it's a dragon in it it's a dragon it's a d so what is really nice about this you can do like a you can even put stuff on here now check this out obviously you know like uh i've got the white background there you can see it so just go on the right here it's got a lot of ai kind of tools as well and i and i want to show you there's a lot more to this like but just showing you how quick and easy it is to use like just click ai background remover again you know it's it's a straightforward process um there it is can you see the d shows up now and you can see it right quite clearly right really cool really nice really clear uh you can see what we're doing now right really nice now i think one more thing i might do i mean i don't need to do anything else really actually but i might just give it bring it all in so let me just as in like a lot of these good ones also tend to um do a bit of bordering possibly so let me just go to elements let me just type in border see what borders they got okay loads of styles of borders so you can see let's have a look 
Anything that catches my eye, I don't know. But let's try, let's try this one. Let's try this one. Looks a bit thick though, but I think it looks nice as well. Look at that. Looks quite cool. Nice little border. Yeah, it might be a bit big. Especially if all the elements I don't obviously I want to keep sure make sure all my elements are in. But that's not a difficult task. If if you want to, you know, obviously as you move things around, you, you might need to slightly adjust things as you as you do it. And that's okay too. Let's just bring it in. I just want to make sure everything is, is inside. Yep, so it just needs a bit of work, a bit of moving around. And you know me, I like to do things live. Obviously, it might not be the right border. Probably might need to change it up still. But it gives you an idea of what you could actually put on there, right? And then obviously, you know, you want the black and white element. If you remember what I did, I just made everything... Um, I made everything white. And uh, let me just see. And also black as an outline. Just That's it, see? Let's get that one white. Boom. Right? Look at that. Mmm. Looks cool, guy. Looks nice. This this is nice, right? Looks wicked. Looks lovely, guys. But let me just do a couple of things because I need to double check because I can see I've kind of not whitened these letters out fully. So let me go back to D. And then let me go to text color. Let me just raise it. Make sure it's a full right in the corner there you go boom let me go to the other d because that one looks a slight hint of gray for some reason i haven't quite pushed up that color to full white boom and then let me go to the my beautiful deer and do the same because i can see there's a slight hint of gray too okay that looks pretty good to me guys and literally that's it that's done so what i need to do is very quickly go to export now the thing about this is make sure that you give it a 300 dpi right a very important nice and clear crisp so that when they print it out any customer buys it prints it out it's just mm, perfect for them um but yeah so make sure that you've got the dpi some of these features like the dpi features they increase um it does require the subscription payment on kittle um but yeah these these are very important and i feel like when i sell any items obviously the quality needs to be there the pdf obviously is ideal for print so i'll do i'd literally do this i put it on as a 300 dpi nice and crisp and then pdf ideal because it's ideal for coloring page prints click that it's gonna work on it there you go boom it's done it it's downloaded it ready to sell and that's it guys that's it that is my beautiful coloring page alphabet uh, letters ready to color in for that fantastic passive income so guys if you love the video don't forget to hit the like subscribe smash the notification bell don't forget check out all the links in my description check out uh, the link for kittle which is at the bottom um, it's got free trial so check it out play around with it it's really cool Check out the videos that are coming up next. And check out my playlist, guys, on coloring pages. It's the one. Guys, take care. See you in the next one.